Howdy y'all, Galator here. And for this other mini-series I'm going to try is going to be called IQG, or Instance Quest Guide. So I know a lot of people, the way they level up in vanilla is they essentially grind dungeons until they hit max level. Uh, I personally find that really dry. Uh, I don't like doing the same instance dozens of times. So the way I level is I go through all the quests in the zone content, but I like to do each dungeon once at very key levels um, just to like see the content and get some of that good old loot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little quick guide on how to prep for each dungeon if you want to make the most of your one run in case you're someone that levels up like me. So I'm going to go through where to find all the quests, all the prerequisites for those quests, and then quickly how to complete them. So if you do run that one dungeon one time, you will get the most out of it in terms of experience, quest loot, and just overall dungeon loot. So let's jump right in with our first one, Ragefire Chasm. Alright, so first up we're going to break down the quests by either neutral quests, so either Horde or Alliance can do them, and then Alliance quests, and then Horde quests, because, you know, Alliance greater than, greater than, Horde. Um, neutral quests, eh, not for Ragefire Chasm. Alliance quests, eh, not for Ragefire Chasm. So, Horde quests. Okay, so the first quest you need to pick up is Testing an Enemy's Strength. And you get this quest from Thunder Bluff, an Elder's Rise, uh, from a Tauren named Raharo. And all this quest has you do is it has you kill 16 Trogs within the instance, and it rewards you about 950 experience. The second quest you need to go get is called The Power to Destroy. And you're going to get this from that big demon in Sylvanas' lair in the Undercity named Veramathris. And what he wants you to do is go kill some cultists within the instance and get two books and bring them back to him. Uh, for this quest, you get 1250 experience, but you also get the choice of either the Ghastly Trousers, uh, great for cloth wearers, Dredgemire Leggings, uh, great for rogues and hunters actually, and then the Gargoyle Leggings, some good male ones. So essentially leggings for male through cloth. All right, so for the third quest, you actually have to complete a prerequisite uh, called Hidden Enemies. And what you're going to do is there's this cave located east of Orgrimmar. Here's where it is on a map. And you have to go around slaughtering Burning Blade cultists. And they, till oh, sorry, until they drop this insignia. Once you get this insignia, you're going to run to Thrall, located here. And then he is going to send you to Nero Fireblade, located here who's going to send you back to Thrall, and you are going to pick up the Hidden Enemies quest for this instance, which is to kill Jirgosh the Invoker and Basilan. Uh, and this just gives you 1400 experience. All right, and finally, the last quest you need before entering the instance is actually from Nero Fireblade. Uh, he's the guy you talked to when you were running between Thrall and him for the Hidden Enemies quest. Uh, and he wants you to kill Tergaman the Hunger, uh, which is the second boss of the entire instance. And for that one, you get 1250 experience. So in order to complete all these quests when you enter the instance, the first thing you want to do is make sure you kill eight of the Trog Shaman and then eight of the other Trogs, and they are all located here on the map. Uh, your second objective is to find Maur Grim Totem. I believe I'm saying that right. And their corpse is located right here with the circle on the map. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to search the corpse for the lost satchel. And you'll get your 875 experience for that. And then you're going to return the lost satchel uh, back to uh, Raharo on Thunder Bluff. And for this quest, in addition to the 1250 experience, you either get the feather bead bracers, so some good cloth wrist, or the savanna bracers, some good leather wrists. After all of that, you're gonna kill some cultists for the power to destroy. They're located here on the map. Following them, you will kill Terragram the Hungerer, located here. And then following that, you will kill the last two bosses to complete the final quest. And after that, you have completed all the quests for Ragefire Chasm in only one run. 
Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I like this series, the instance quest guides, uh, but let me know if it's not really sticking. I'm essentially just throwing shit at a wall, see what sticks, see what you guys respond to. Uh, but yeah, I personally find it helpful. Uh, I have like a written out list of what levels to do each uh, dungeon, and then at those levels, how many quests do I have to go get so I don't waste time doing each dungeon twice. Uh, so I forgot to say it in the beginning, but just a heads up, Ragefire Chasm recommended levels are between 13 and 18 in vanilla. Uh, if you're a healer or a tank, I would recommend waiting till you're about level 16 to do it. But if you're a DPS, you can do it all the way down at 13. Uh, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And let me know what other sorts of videos you'd like to see. I'm pretty much open for doing anything at this point. Au revoir.